Pumping up the tires on your bike is a pretty basic skill. But like most basic skills, you actually need someone to show you how the first time you do it. So if you don't know, don't worry, because this is how you pump up your bike tires. Step one is to work out what type of valve you have on your wheels. So bikes are likely to have one of two, a Schrader valve like that, which you'll find on your car, or a Presta valve like that one, which you will find on most road bikes. Now the type of valve that you have will have an effect on the type of pump that you use. So a Schrader valve will need a wider opening like that one there, and a Presta valve will need a narrow opening like that one there. And you can actually get an adapter to screw onto your Presta valve that will allow you to use your car pump, for example, so for that valve there. But you can't, unfortunately, do it the other way around. Step two is to remove the dust caps on your valves if you have them. Now, don't worry, doing this isn't suddenly going to let a load of air out. You technically don't really need dust caps at all. Step three, and this is particularly important, on a Presta valve, you need to unscrew this lock ring here before you can either inflate or deflate your tire. Once it's unscrewed, you press it in and you can let air out. Step four is to attach the head of the pump onto the valve itself. Now, depending on what pump you have, that might require it to be screwed on or pressed on and then you flip a lever to lock it or just simply pressed on. Now, a quick look at your pump is gonna tell you what you need to do. So if it needs to be screwed on, then it'll have a little thread inside that head there. Or if there's a lever to be flipped, then clearly there is gonna be a lever. Now you'll find when you press it on that you're likely to let a little bit of air out. Now, I wouldn't worry about it, it's perfectly normal. All you've got to do is spend a tiny bit more time actually pumping. With the head firmly attached, we are now good to start pumping. Which I suppose leads us on to our next question, which is, when do you actually stop? What is the correct pressure? Well, it does depend on what type of tire you have. So a wider tire is gonna require less pressure. So a mountain bike might only have one and a half bar or about 25 PSI in it. Whereas a road bike with narrower tires will have between about 85 and 110 PSI. So that's about five and a half or seven and a half bar. Now the exact pressure is gonna depend on your weight as well. So if there's any doubt, then a really good idea is to look at the side of the tire because embossed on there will be a minimum and a maximum recommended pressure. So if you aim for somewhere between that, you won't go far wrong. Now, if your pump doesn't have a pressure gauge, then you can actually use your thumb, which is admittedly less accurate, but nevertheless, still useful. So if you press on the tire sidewall here, pretty firmly, on a road bike, you shouldn't be able to press in very far at all. Whereas on a mountain bike, you should probably be able to push by about a centimetre. When you're happy with the pressure, then swiftly and cleanly remove the head of the pump from the valve. Now you're likely to hear a little bit of air escape, but don't worry about it because it's just pressurized air escaping from the pump and not actually the tire. And then if you're using Presta valves, then remember to screw that little lock ring back in. If you forget, then it's not like air is just gonna seep out of your tire. It only leaks out if you actually press the lock ring in. But still, it's a good idea to do it, just in case. Now, if it hasn't gone quite as smoothly as this, then there are a couple of things you might try. So if you are struggling to get air into the tire, then make sure that the head of the pump is fitted securely to the valve and there's not any air seeping out from this point here. But if it is fitted securely and you're actually struggling to press the pump down because air isn't going into the tire, then you might want to try removing the head of the pump and it might be that the valve itself is slightly stuck. So in that case, just press on the tip of the valve, whether it's Schrader or Presta, and that should hopefully loosen things up. And then you can reattach the pump and try again. Now, hopefully you're not gonna have to pump your tires up very often, but it is worth checking the pressure just with a quick press of your thumbs before every ride, because riding with soft tires is slow. It's also a little bit dangerous on corners and you're more likely to puncture. And if you do puncture though, we well, are gonna to need to know how to change an inner tube. So why not continue your education by learning how to fix a flat in a video just up there? Or to see how to reduce the risk of punctures at all, then there's a video on that subject just down there. And if you like what you see here, make sure you subscribe to GCN. To do that, you can just click 
on the globe.